If r and s are positive integers, can the fraction r over s be expressed as a decimal with only a finite number of non-zero digits? And so r and s are positive integers, then the ratio r over s is what is called a rational number. And rational numbers, when we express them as decimals, they do either two things. They either terminate, which means they come to an end, like for example 0.125, then it comes to an end. There's no other decimals after that, so it has a finite number of non-zero digits. Or it repeats. For example, one-third equals 0.333, and the threes repeat. They go on forever. And so how do we know whether it terminates or repeats? Well, if the denominator s has only factors of 2, and 5. It can have, have many factors of 2 as you want, as many factors as 5 as you want, but it has no other prime number factors other than 2 or 5. Then the number will definitely terminate. That is to say, it will have a finite number of non-zero digits. Otherwise, it will be a repeating decimal. So that's the determining factor right there. So now we move to the statement. Statement number 1 tells us S is a factor of 100. Well, the factors of 100 could be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100 itself. And notice all of these, these have only factors of 2s and 5s. There are no other prime number factors other than 2s or 5s in these numbers. So these meet the condition that the factors in the numerator are just 2s and 5s and no other prime number factors. So we know that the decimal terminates. We can give a yes answer to the question, and this is sufficient. Statement number two now tells us that r is a factor of 100. Well, it doesn't really matter what we have in the numerator. It's really the denominator that determines whether it is terminating or repeating. And so any information we have about the numerator is basically irrelevant. And so this statement by itself, it's irrelevant, it's insufficient, it doesn't help us at all. Statement number one is sufficient, statement number two is insufficient, and the answer is A.